In this video, we float the Elk River in South Central Tennessee. A popular area for canoe and kayaking on the Elk River is between Tim Fords Lake and Fayetteville, Tennessee. This area is serviced by the Elk River Canoe Rentals. On this float, we put in at the Old Dam Road and took out at Shiloh Bridge on Champs Road. So Old Dam Road, and yeah, that's the real name of it. You won't find a road sign there because it normally gets stolen. And we were told by the people at Elk River Canoe that every time the county replaces the sign, it's just stolen again. As you can see here, there's not a lot of parking at this area. So you may wanna just pull your vehicle down, unload your boats and equipment, and then pull back up the road for parking on the side. The water at this put in is flowing pretty good, but something we did was just, we got in, got going, and then about 50 yards down, you could see on the opposite side there, there is a rock beach where we gathered our group and got situated. Elk River is about 195 miles long, and it starts up at the junction of Laurel and Jay Creeks up on the Cumberland Plateau. The river ends at Wheeler Lake in Alabama, where it dumps into the Tennessee River. For this paddle, it was about three miles straight line from start to finish, but with the curviness of the river, it was much closer to seven miles. We found this area of the river to be a little bit wider than some of the rivers we're used to. And there wasn't a whole lot of shade unless you got to the extreme edges. There was a lot of sun on this day. It was in the high 90s and we took a pretty good beating from the sun. So don't forget your sunscreen and protective clothing. We also found in a lot of the faster moving areas that there was a lot of tree trunks that were underwater creating some pretty good hazards. So just be careful in there and don't tip, don't get trapped under a tree. We actually took out and walked around a few of the more dangerous looking areas. So a quick shout out to Elk River Canoe Rental. We didn't use their shuttle or rental from them because they were booked up for this particular day, but we did stop in and talk with them and they were very helpful providing a map and talking about some of their put in and take out locations and talking about their service pretty good. They also gave us very detailed instructions for some of these backcountry roads to find these locations. It'll also be neat to check in with them again another time because they do offer anywhere from as short as an hour and a half floats to up to four day floats. So that may be something if you're interested in doing a little camping trip on the river. Be sure to check the description area of the video for the link to their site and also some links to other great information on the Elk River. approaching the Shiloh Bridge takeout because it's the only bridge you will see on this portion of the float. There are also steps for taking out or putting in and a nice slide for your boats. parking area on this side is also very tight. As you can see, cars parking on one side really gives it a one lane road. And then when people start coming in with trailers, it gets filled up quick. Well, that's this trip. We hope you liked the video and subscribe if you want to see more of our adventures as we're getting fresh air.